I'm Heidi Isaacson. I am here with Daniel Millisock. You are an NALP credential holder. How exciting. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Heidi. All right, Daniel, what drew you to the multifamily housing industry? I was working with a company called Property Staff and Associates. And what we did at PSA is we staffed different properties. I met so many different vendors and, and organizations. An opportunity came for me to volunteer. So I joined WIMPA and I joined their committee. And it was one of the most life-changing things that ever happened to me. Great. Well, tell me why you pursued getting your NALP credential. If you know nothing about the property management industry, you can take the NALP course and actually benefit from it tremendously. Great. What did you enjoy most about the training program? All the different examples that we, we had in class. You know, as a class, we, we got in little groups and we talked amongst each other. People on site would do different things. You wondered if they did it right or if they did it wrong. And, you know, going through the scenario, a lot of stuff with property management, you don't know what's going to happen. Day to day, you have no idea. So that class teaches you how to take the best appropriate steps. So Daniel, tell me a little bit about the classroom experience at the Wimpa Training Center. The classroom experience was really nice. I really enjoyed the fact that they fed us. We, yeah, the food was good. They always had fresh coffee for us. What I really liked about the training at the Wimpa Training Center, while we were learning, it was fun. The different credential holders that, that taught us, they all were knowledgeable. They had so much experience in the field. We would try to stump them with some of the questions, and there's always an answer, at least, if not an answer, a way of finding the answer. So Daniel, in what way has this class affected the business side of things that you do? So the course allowed me to understand why. It made me comprehend the real meaning of maintenance. I felt like I was going to these properties just to fill in. After I took the course, and I was going to these properties, I wanted to get a lease. I was excited to talk to, to the prospects. The course got me excited to actually utilize everything I just learned in the course and actually see if it works. And I tell you what, if you follow the NALP course and you follow the fundamentals and, and what it teaches you, there's no way you can go wrong in the property management industry. So tell me what was the most challenging part about the NALP program? At first, when I first walked in, I, I wasn't sure. I didn't know anything. After that course, I was excited. I was ready to go. I felt like, you know, I could do this. It gave me so much energy and so much just a, a boost, yeah. of fresh air, putting everything, all your feelings and everything aside and just saying, you know what, let me just learn from scratch the right way. Okay. And then, you know, after, after a few days, everything just came together. So that was challenging at first. All right, Daniel, tell me about your biggest aha moment. Probably when I first got my first lease. Don't wait for those prospects to go somewhere else. If someone contacts you, they're contacting you for a reason. You find a way to follow up with them within the hour. If you wait even two days, you're gonna lose that prospect. I asked the right questions, got their email address, their phone number, you know, how they hear about us, do the pop card and you do everything right. All that information really allows you, it's firepower. So when I, when I had a chance to meet them, I had so much firepower, what they liked, what did they like in an apartment home, um, all that firepower, I, I felt confident. And uh, you know, just following up with that email right after the phone call, it, it secured it. It made me feel like, man, you know, I really can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And making a difference and, and having that resident, my first resident that I moved in, bring me brownies, and it really made me feel special. Yeah. Daniel, tell me how this uh, experience has affected you. I secured a, a really good job with a wonderful a management company, Thrive Communities. You know, I have different vendors coming to my property and they're like, wow, you're here. You're, I didn't know you were here. And it, it's been really rewarding. I really feel valued. I really feel like I'm part of something big and I feel like I can make a, a big difference. I would recommend this course to my colleagues because the course does such a good job teaching you and training you how to not judge it shows you that we're all people, no matter what race, ethnic, background, religion, gender. Uh, there's so many different classes that as humans we, we disrespect others sometimes just because we don't know about them. But this course shows you and teaches you how that we're all loved and we're all beautiful people and we're all 
we're all one and um, and we could coexist together and really make a positive impact. Now on to some fun stuff. What is your favorite Pacific Northwest place to visit? Pike Place Market. I love going up to Mount Rainier. I love camping, mm -hmm. taking the camper out and just enjoying the, the outdoors. Okay. Speaking of summer, what is your favorite summertime activity in Seattle? I love floating down the rivers in the summer. Yeah. So Daniel, tell me what's your favorite lymphoma event that you attended so far? I really like Maintenance Mania. It's really interesting to see the different maintenance technicians uh, build their different cars and race them and see who can get the fastest time. Uh, WIMFA has so many different events. We did a career fair that was amazing. We had a really good turnout, uh, getting new people excited about our industry. I recently went to Emerald Awards for the first time. Our property, Thrive, was nominated. Our maintenance supervisor, uh, Ivan, won an award. And we also won uh, over at Hidden River, we won an uh, uh, Emerald Award. And uh, I also won a, an award, and it was a really humbling experience. It was a special time for me. Um, I won Volunteer of the Year Award with Washington Multifamily Housing Association. It was really a special time for me, and I'm very grateful and thankful for, for them recognizing me for the contributions I have been putting in. We're not there yet, there's still work to be done, so I'm excited uh, for this new year. Cool. So what's amazing about my property is we just did a major renovation. New hardwood plank floors, new quartz countertops, new stainless steel appliances. The light fixtures are amazing. There's a wood burning fireplace in every unit. It's just such a comfy place. When I go and open up the model unit in the morning, I, I sit back and I turn on the lights and I'm just, it brings a big smile to my face. So what is next for me is I'm thinking about getting my CAM uh, designation. One of my goals is to become an assistant manager. I would like some more responsibility. What I have been doing lately is uh, floating the different properties who have a need for me mm -hmm. and helping out any, any way possible. So. Great. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for your time and congratulations again on your certification. Thank you so much. Daniel, is there anything else you'd like to add? I would like to say thank you to the Wumpa staff. You guys have been amazing. It has been a journey and I look forward to the future. So thank you for the education and the opportunities you provide our industry. You guys do a wonderful job, and uh, thank you so much.